Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Mix Me BLB. I'm BLB and today I got a tutorial video for you guys showing you how to reroute the audio from your computer to OBS. Well, in this case, specifically Studio One, how you can get the audio to be picked up by Studio um, from Studio One by OBS. Um, so you could record or stream and get the audio out of your mix session or whatever you're doing in Studio One that you could pick up that audio. Um, I'm using uh, voice meter banana and I'm also throwing discord into the mix just so you can get an idea of what you can actually do the possibilities that you can that you can do with uh, voice meter banana so let's get right into it I'm using voice meter banana I'm going to throw the link down in the description but you can just google it basically until you get this page but I will have the link in the description you can actually get different versions of voice meter I'm using the banana which I recommend you get it has the right inputs and outputs and it's just handy to have the difference between the regular voice meter the potato and the banana is just the amount of inputs and outputs but if you want to follow this video i recommend getting banana you also need the virtual cables a and b now to get these i believe you need to um, donate to them or you have to pay for them i have this for years i've been using this setup for years but recently i was trying to get a video up or record a video from OBS um, using uh, using OBS trying to pick up the audio in Studio One and I couldn't get it done I forgot everything and I had to relearn everything and figure it back out and that's how and that's why I'm making this video to help you guys out um, but back when I did it I had to buy these uh, voice meter is free I think you don't have to buy voice meter but you do have to buy the cables I believe I'm not sure anymore it's been a while just check it out uh, make sure you get the cable A and B. You will need that for the video and just get voice meter banana And when you download and get that all sorted, you got it installed on your computer You need to follow these steps go to your computer's audio Right click sounds go to sounds You need to make sure everything is disabled in here everything and playback needs to be disabled the only thing you want on standby or ready is speakers from voice vb audio cable a vb audio cable b and vb audio virtual cable these three need to be set on ready i'm not sure if you're going to have vb audio virtual cable but you for sure will have a and b if you bought those i don't remember how i got the this one i don't remember it's free maybe you can get it when you get voice meter i'm not sure but whether you have it or not is not important but if you do have it, just make sure it's set on ready. And here's what's important. You need to make sure one of these two, either the aux input or the regular input, one of them need to be set as default. I recommend just following what I do in this video. I have this one set at default and this one set as communication. The only difference between these two is auxiliary is this one right here on the right side of voice meter banana. That's, one, that, this, that's this one all the way to the right and the regular input is the one to the left. That's the only difference. It doesn't matter which one you put as communication or default, it doesn't matter. But for this video, just follow what I did. So just make sure that's set up like that. And then recording, I'm, I'm guessing you're, I'm assuming you're using a audio interface. If you use Studio One, you're an artist or you're a mix engineer or whatever the case, you probably have a, a audio interface and your mic is probably hooked up to the audio interface. So you want to make sure that line input, that mic is set up as default device. Everything else has to be disabled. And again, everything that is connected to voice meter needs to be set at ready. Even the auxiliary output and the auxiliary, I mean the auxiliary output and the regular output needs to be set at ready. Everything needs to be set at ready. Cable A, cable B, everything set at ready. But you want this to be set at default. That's from your audio interface. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to know for this. You could leave that. Now, this is what's important as well. Right here, I have this set up as my mic. So this is my mic for my audio interface. You wanna click here, make sure that it's routed to your mic from your audio interface. Mine is audio box USB 96. Whatever you're using, whatever interface you're using, make sure you're using your mic from there. And then relabel this as mic, right? And you want to make sure that this line is set on mono because that's your microphone and you want it to be set to b2 why b2 
because B2 means this. And this right here, from what we saw, is the auxiliary. And the auxiliary is every audio that comes out of your computer. The auxiliary is what you need to set the mic to. So that's B2. B1 is just the connections. This is the regular input. So that's why I have it set to connections. I renamed it to connections and this one, my computer. Computer audio, this is like your apps, your studio one, your discord, everything that is not like primary, this is like what, what that line is. So that's B1 and this is B2. Make sure your mic is set to B2. Just pretend like this is your studio one. You just could rename it studio one to set this to or MME voice meter output VB audio VO. You need to use this one specifically for the studio one to work correctly. You have to have this one highlighted, the MME one. We're gonna get back to it. For now, it's good to go. And this one, you wanna make sure it's highlighted as B1. And that's it. That's it for virtual meter for now. We're gonna come back to it. So once you got your studio one opened, you wanna go over to studio one, options and right here by audio setup audio devices you want to make sure voice meter virtual highlighted and then press and press ok it's now set up basically to where you can get the audio from in from in your studio one to be picked up by voice meter that's all you needed to do all right guys i just loaded up a beat just so we could have some audio going in and out of our studio one so you can hear this actually work by the way, shout out to Tyreek. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to his YouTube channel, Dope Producer. This beat is made by him. Y'all should check him out. Okay, so basically when you got everything hooked up, like I said, voice meter virtual is hooked up here in the audio devices. You got your audio and your session set up in Studio One, and you wanna make sure that under the section with Studio One, like I told you to rename it, and it's hooked up to the MME voice meter output, right? You wanna make sure this is on A1. Why A1 is because this is also set to A1. You gotta make sure this is set to A1. And what does A1 mean? A1 is basically the outputs, all of the outputs. If you go over to A1, make sure that this is set to your audio interface or your speakers or whatever it is that you're using that you wanna hear the audio from, right? Whether you're using headphones, using your uh, studio monitors, running from your um, uh, your audio interface, you wanna just hook that up right here. So I got my audio interface hooked up at A1. What these A1 and A2 and A3, what, are, what all of these are, is basically all your outputs. So if I have A1 set to my audio interface, obviously my, head foot, my headphones are also plugged into my audio interface. So I don't need a separate, I don't need to use a separate output because it's already like two birds with one stone. My audio interface is connected and my, my headphones are connected to the audio interface. But if you do want separate sounds, separate speakers or separate headphones, you simply just, you just go to A2 and you look for that device in the list and you highlight it. So then what happens is anything that you connect within your connections, your auxiliary, your auxiliary input and your regular input, whatever you set those two as far as A1, A2 and A3, that's the output that's going to be receiving that signal, right? So in this case, I'm using as my main signal line, A1. And I want to hear Studio 1 through my main signal line from the auxiliary. So I also put Studio 1 at A1. If I don't do that, it will still pick up my Studio 1, but I just can't hear Studio 1. That's why, that's why I'm playing it right now, it. but I can't hear it. You guys can hear it because I got everything set up. But until I actually click this, now I'm hearing the beat in my headphones because everything is hooked up to my main, right? So make sure that's set to A1 and this is also set to A1. Now this can also be set to A1. It doesn't matter if I did this. Why? It's because this is routed to the, um, the regular input. So not the aux, but the regular input. That's why we did the settings right here. So if whether, whether I do A1 here or here, it wouldn't matter. I could have A2 here and these are like a separate headphone for like, let's say you're in the booth, you're in the studio with someone and he wants to hear the beat and you don't want to hear the beat. Then you just set up his headphones to A2 and you set studio one to A2 that he can hear the beat and you don't have to worry about hearing it, right? Or if you do want to hear it, you could just put A1 and A2. 
right? It what it doesn't matter. These two they work together. And now we're gonna go over to OBS. You might not have what I have here, so we're gonna set it all up. You want to go to File, Settings, and then you're gonna go to Audio, Global Audio Devices. So you want your desktop audio to be running through the auxiliary input. Why? Because that's the main line that we hooked up even in our computer's audio, right? We set that to the auxiliary, right? So inside here, we wanna make sure it's set to that. For desktop two, we want that to be set to cable A. Discord, that's gonna come later, is gonna be used as cable A. And that's for later, we'll get back to that. So that's your Discord, this is your computer, that's your Discord. Now this is your mic auxiliary audio. Make sure that again is set to your audio interface or whatever your mic source is. And now this one right here, this is your studio. This is gonna be your studio one. If it's set to disabled, it's not gonna appear here. Some people go here and they add a source, but you don't have to do that. Yes, adding a source does make audio devices appear here in this section right here where I'm, where I'm hovering at but you don't have to do that. You disable anything that is not necessary for this video that comes from here, you disable it from there. Everything you need to know is in here. So if it's disabled, you just re-enable it and connect that to voice meter output, the regular one, just VB audio voice meter voice. So not the auxiliary one, but the regular one. And it's gonna appear right here. Everything is gonna appear here. And you just have to rename them, right? So I have it set as desktop. This one is your uh, Discord. I have it set as, as Discord. So desktop, desktop, Discord, Discord, mic, MXL mic, that's what I'm using. And then my Studio One, Studio One. That's these four, that's these four, simple. So if you go into your Studio One, I'm gonna go into my Studio One, press play. My Studio One is being picked up and you're done. That's all you need to know. Always have to make sure that Studio One is set to virtual meter. Because let's say I switch this back to my audio interface. It's playing, but you guys can't hear it. You guys can't hear it. See, it's not even active. So you have to make sure that in Studio One, this is set to voice meter virtual. And now you guys can hear it again. See that? And you gotta make sure that this is highlighted so you can hear it, right? If you don't, you just don't hear anything. So now that we got that hooked up, you're done for Studio One. You're all done for Studio One. But let's say you want to have another device, in this case is Discord, another app. All you wanna do is make sure that this line right here, Discord, is set to cable A. And then when you're in Discord, you go to the settings, you go to uh, voice and video. And then again, obviously you want your input to be your microphone from your um, audio interface. And then this, the output you want to set to cable A because we have it also set as cable A. And then they're connected. That's it. Simple as that. You're done with Discord. Now, if you go into a chat or whatever in Discord, it should work fine. Oh yeah, what's also very important to know, I almost forgot, this is also very important to know if you're recording and streaming and stuff like that. Uh, right click right here in the empty space in your OBS, advanced audio properties. Now this is where all of the audio stuff that's running through OBS is shown. So right in here is where you need to focus on this track section right here. So just follow what I did. I did. I don't know if you have extra stuff. It's possible that you've been doing some stuff. You have extra stuff. But what the what you want to focus on here is make sure that everything other than the first row, number one, everything other than number one has their separate individual check marks, right? So everything for number one, everything is highlighted, right? Check, 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 check. But once you go to two, you want to start separating it. Go down like a like a ladder. So one is just on one. Two, that's only on two, nothing else. And one and two. Three is one and three. Four is one and four. Five, one and five, six, one and six, and so forth and so forth. 
that's very important to do because when you record a video OBS can save individual audios when you're putting in your when you're putting it into your editing software you can separate all of those separate audios so you're putting them on separate audio tracks so my discord is going to be on a separate audio track in my editing software my mic is going to be on a separate audio track and my studio one is going to be on a separate audio track etc etc if you don't do this everything will be on the same audio track and then it makes it very difficult to mix and separate and volume balancing and doing different editing techniques because everything will be merged into one so that's good if you're streaming you want them to be merged into one that's why section one is all highlighted but after section one you make sure that they go down the ladder so that they have all their separate tracks highlighted so that they can be separate you want to also go into file settings yeah into output and then you want to go into recording and then you want to make sure audio tracks highlighted is one two three four five and maybe six if you have more you want to make sure all of them are highlighted it's very important that you do that and that's everything you guys need to know if this video was helpful make sure to drop the like for me subscribe if you're interested in some audio stuff by the way guys make sure to join my discord if you want man i want to have a link to my discord i'm going to be uploading like plugins it's going to have different artists and, and stuff in there or producers i just want to build a community inside of this inside of the discord if you guys have questions i can help you guys assist you guys in discord with anything that you need to know if you do join the discord you got to make sure um to go to the identify tab and just click the emoji that 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 corresponds with what you are right if you're an illustrator you click illustrator if you're a producer you click the producer one and that's how you get access to the rest of the server and you can go in go get free plugins i, I have this little thing set up where i use some free plugins they're pretty good and you guys can just check it out man but i hope the video was helpful see you guys in the next one man peace